Welcome to week 16, ladies and gentlemen. We are in a different place from usual. I am in the Padres office and I was working up here today and I was actually just finishing up a video for week 15. Finished editing it, now it's rendering and I'm gonna be uploading it. And then I already mentioned that it is Tuesday. So we completely missed Monday the 22nd. We are on Tuesday the 23rd now, but I did not skip my fitness. I still did it, but I was in such a time crunch yesterday that all I could do was edit and I didn't have enough time to cord because I had to wake up early today and I needed to get my sleep so it was a conflict of interest and I didn't want to stay up too long so let me close some notifications right now I'm recording on my MacBook because I want to have my phone out and I want to discuss what happened yesterday I'm going to do a screen recording so that we can actually recap yesterday's walking and yesterday's eating so let's do that I'm gonna start the screen recording now three two one screen recording now I'm gonna put that on airplane mode so no one bothers me let's already Go to the health app. I'm gonna edit this shit. Let's start with Monday. I don't know why it won't let me scroll over, but let's just point at Monday right now. 12,000 steps. What is significant about yesterday was I went to a new gym and I walked in there, got a tour, had all kinds of equipment and had a sauna. And I was like, book me. Um, There's a bunch of fee bullshit. And then there was a, it's a $50 per month gym. And after going to Planet Fitness on Monday, bro, I was like, fuck this. So, cause Planet Fitness is just ass. I just hate the Smith machine. like. Yes, it's affordable, but I feel like when you invest in a better place, it's just the higher quality just puts a stain on you. Like, anyway, not to shit on Planet Fitness. It works for people. Let's continue. So let's go to yesterday. So this is yesterday. So I was able to hit 2,600 calories, and this is quite rare for me. All I ate in the morning was a banana, and then I went to get the gym membership, and then I worked out immediately after getting it. And then at my reward, as I'm going to show as a picture, I, wait, actually, I actually have a picture of me going to the gym. So actually, let me pop that shit up right now so that just shows i went i forgot to take it in the gym i didn't do any recording because it was my first time there i don't know the location but in the future either i'm gonna bring like a buddy to the gym with me to help me film or i'll find an area that no one else gets in the shot and i can start at least recording a bit of what i'm doing because I want gym content. Just this whole thing is always about recapping after my workout, but it would be nice to start blending the two. So after that, we then went to as our on our walk back, we hit a grocery store and on the way, pow, let me put. So there I just bought a pound of ground beef and I bought some ready rice, you know, like the Uncle Ben shit. And let me crack open this. This screen recording is going to be a while. Let's see how the editing goes for this one. But lately, I was so lazy to cook for myself that I went to fast food options and for the amount of money I was spending, I was not getting enough protein at all. And a lot of things are just stuffed with carbs instead. Like if you get burritos, it's mostly the rice in there. It's like not that much meat. They probably give you like four to six ounces, like max six. They, they really be scheming you. And it's just, I was paying 12 to $15, even up to $20 sometimes for just like places I go out to eat. And it's just, the volume is not there for the cost. And then I went to buy a whole pound of ground beef and that gave me 1120 calories alone. And that was, like 90 grams of protein or something i can actually click into it 76 grams of protein for that ground beef and it was it's incredible and so now what's also helping too with additional calories as you can see there's something called mct oil something that the faster guy recommended to me because i was dming him on twitter and he says if you had up to like six to seven of mct like so it's per tablespoon it's 130 calories i was like <laughs> especially if someone's struggling to gain weight that is just like a you know it's a flavorless oil you can sprinkle in like this thing of it like olive oil or some bullshit and it's 130 calories per tablespoon so now with my eggs i'm gonna start throwing that shit in my scramble so it just adds i can add 200 300 400 calories it's just per tablespoon so that's gonna be huge in our bulk journey guys and then <laughs> dinner was quite shit uh i had a glass of milk my mom made rice and beans and my lazy ass didn't even want to like eat that shit i was like i was scheming for everything else so i went i was like let me drink some milk and then i had a, a can of tuna because that shit was a confirmed like 20 grams so it's actually 19 grams but this is the closest thing on my fitness pal so it's actually incorrect and i ate a bar <laughs> it was 170 calories so i ended up hitting like over my goal anyway and i had a, a subway cookie my brother gave me so that definitely help yeah good day so i'm gonna stop the recording now because i don't think there's anything else and yeah and i was actually pretty proud of myself just walking in there before you know this may not be major to nobody but i've always been so frugal and now it's i'm able to and I, i'm fortunate enough especially with like living under my parents roof and they so i i can withhold a lot of my money because you know i just got out of college they're they're in the consensus that i get to like hold some cash i'm gonna pay off debt 
you know, I'm just like investing in my health now because I just know it's going to be a greater return at the end of the day. And I always heard that you can either choose to spend a lot of money that's kind of small in comparison to the later down, you know, 20 years, you know, because all these diseases and these bad things, like they take decades to brew. It's like on the back burner and you know, your health scare is going to hit you later down the line. And then it's, that is going to be in a very expensive endeavor. So that could be a $500 to $1,000 endeavor because you got to like switch an organ. You got to like do something, a surgery, whatever the fuck. Some things can cost up to a million dollars. Like whatever your health thing is. By now me just being willing to, whenever it's a nice gym, bro, fucking book it. I'm going to invest that monthly $50, do all that bullshit, right? You need to go into these places like... I mean, I guess that's basically the mindset I'm trying to have. And especially now, as I just had this literal comparison of fast food cost versus cooking at home cost, I was like, wow, I can get way more, especially for my health, and especially way more volume of food, and it's costly. For the same amount I would have spent on the fast food, you can make a real proper meal with your meat, your rice, or your potatoes, and just get a vegetable, you know what I'm saying? And that's basically the meal plan I'm gonna have. I'm gonna be basically doing eggs and work my way up to like four eggs. Right now, I'm doing three, and I'm gonna do some MCT oil, and then have like toast on the side. And that shit's gonna hit up to a thousand calories, or between 700 to a thousand. And then as we just saw in the MyFitnessPal, that meat let me look at it again I don't, i'm not gonna show it on the screen but that whole meal that day was at 1800 calories so i'm gonna be easily hitting my bulk thing thank god for this mct oil trick too because i would have to find you like little ways to stuff more calories in and that oil just you just dump it in no flavor it's crazy hopefully there's no like secret side effects of like badness but it's just like a coconut oil i guess and the guy recommended it to me i don't think he'd put my life in danger so i'm kind of like <laughs> blindly trusting this stranger on the internet but yolo okay guys we're back at it again even later today right now it's one o'clock i'm going to work out at, i'm gonna do a boxing less uh, session daniel's gonna join me and you'll see that information after this clip when i finish it i'm really sore though in my legs because yesterday was a leg and shoulder day oh let me show what i fucking did yo i'm so stupid all right i'm gonna go over it quick because this video is already running long so it's actually what happened in week 15 there was a warm-up there's a breathing exercise that basically just gets more oxygen into your body into your muscles and then it was a three sets of 10 body weight squats just to warm up and then like you know stretching your shoulders doing the cross body like thing for a little bit 15 seconds two sets of that and then it was whatever it'll come to me anywho so it gets right into the shoulder press seated with dumbbells and it's reverse pyramid training so hopefully that's clear in the recording so i did four so this was actually an annoying piece because there was only one 30 pound dumbbell set and this one guy was hogging it the whole time and you know i was going from 35 pounds to 30 and i was just waiting there and i was like bro come on like you know you're just waiting for a piece of equipment and it's just like you're trying to have patience and you're like this is a virtue and you're like i'm trying to get out of here dude i don't want to sit here all day so i don't want to push myself too hard the guy wants you to be super intense but i don't know my limits because this is basically day one again i'm restarting so i went for 35 and then because i was so impatient i just did 35 pounds again for eight reps and i was like oh shit i can actually do this for eight reps and i just did six so i think i could actually do 40 probably 45 as like my most intense four sets like only four you know and then when we went Went down for 10 then that's 25 that's what i would have been in anyway and then for 10 to 12 reps there's 22.5 dumbbells so that was clutch that was just a little reduction four sets of eight to ten squats and i just did 25 pounds on a barbell keeping it light i'm not trying to force it because i have many more leg workouts to do then it was lateral raises where you just you know lift up with dumbbells there i did four sets of 12 to 15 and i did 10 pounds and then i did leg extension machine that was four sets of 10 to 12 and i did 40 pounds of that for 12 reps uh for four sets then hamstring curl again everything's here it's a very confusing setup and i'm figuring out how to write it all this is all in the moment because it's all different i can't just every set is not the same every rep is not the same so whatever hamstring curl four sets of 12 and i did 30 pounds calf raises i only did my body weight but i did four sets to 20 and that shit still burns nice and slow too you want to make sure like he said do it nice and controlled uh upright rows get the barbell you bring it up to your chin it's a, it's a shoulder workout and that was three sets of 12 at first i did 20 pounds and then 
I went up to 30 and I finished off doing 30 pounds. And dude, these at the end are just like literally the fucking worst. I hated it so much, but it brought like the most burn at the end. So this is probably why he added it. Walking weighted lunges. And it's literally, I had to like walk. I had to lunge across the fucking gym. I basically went like halfway and then halfway back. Out. Three sets of 20. 20. So it was just each one, one two two and i had 30 pounds or i had 15 pound dumbbell 15 pound dumbbell and then i was doing that and then in total i had my casio watch on which i need to start being more functional with because it has a stopwatch forgot to stop it but it was roughly an hour and 15 minutes to complete this workout and i was trying to get it like so short but again it was a reminder of how instant gratification my brain is and i want the answer like the fastest can't do that i the gains are going to come from this like the slow hard work of it obviously it shouldn't take me two hours obviously work as efficiently as you can but you do need your breaks in between and things simply take time to do and the next like wednesday and friday is actually not even as many sets and it's going to be a lot shorter i believe so either that's going to be i estimate 45 to an hour or even shorter but we'll have we'll only see till we form it i'm really happy we have a new gym so good shit cisco and for the boxing i'm probably going to reduce my membership because i'm now overpaying for you know a service i'm barely utilizing so i want to break it down to like two days a week i go so if i can work out like an eight class a month schedule and like bring down a subscription to that amount that'll be ideal and then if not i'm be like all right i'm sorry i'm, I'm canceling this shit. so it's the game plan i don't want to quit boxing but the priority right now is gaining strength and mus muscle is a byproduct of strength that's what the faster course talks about i need strength i need to lift and he he's he makes it so it's only three days of the week you need to do it he doesn't want you every day in the gym and that's what i wanted to i don't i'm not i'm not a gym rat i'm not about that shit. I, like some people make it their whole lives their whole personality like no it's going to be an aspect that i utilize to strengthen this vessel but it's a help it's a it's a tool in my performance so that i have a lot of energy i have a lot of strength to endure the daily bullshit of life because as i just had you know the past month people die people get sick people just like the unexpected will take you by surprise and you need to be a fucking mentally strong person to handle it but also a physically strong person to endure it just flat and that's just my philosophy now going forward after dealing with my past month traumas and shit and you know this isn't now in service and not only myself but all my loved ones around me and my future you know partner my future romantic partner i'm gonna say wife i gotta say partner the fuck <sighs> yeah Anyway, this is a long video. That's a Monday recap. I'll see you after today's boxing workout. Bye. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Tuesday. I told you I'd be back. So, you're gonna say, what the fuck is this thing on your chest? And you will see later in this video why I'm wearing this. I'm going to do a POV of my cooking. I'm gonna be cooking a pound of ground beef, get some leftover rice in that, and then get some greens, and we're gonna hit our daily calorie target so we can start gaining some weight, ladies and gentlemen. The videos you've been watching have been super, super long, so I do want to keep it short. But today we went to a 45 minute kickboxing class and boom, yeah, me and my boy Dan, we went. It was good, thankfully he drove me, really appreciative of him, he's such a brother. And good to just catch up here and there. And man, I was completely sore from this leg and shoulder workout I just had Monday. And I was actually pretty nervous about like being overstressed like during this boxing session today. But you know, we kind of strolled in late, kind of missed that kind of warm up where it's like heavy leg shit. You know, I was rapping cause we got there late. And then we just got straight into the, I basically came at the, like the last four minutes of that warm up cause it's usually seven minutes. And then we went in straight for the boxing round. And this time it was roundhouse kicks and like elbows, which I've never done before. There was, you know, kneeing. It was fucking whack to my body. Like it was like, I could not do it powerfully. My shins, bro, I'm such a bitch with my kicks, bro. Like I, I hit it like, and I was like, ow, holy shit. Like my shins are fucking weak. So I guess maybe I should just attend more of those kickboxing classes, but it wasn't that bad. And I survived, you know, it's been, it's been a week since I hit some fucking bags. So that felt really good to do. And I let out a lot of fucking power and anger and I fucking love boxing, bro. It's so good. I don't know why I did not start this shit earlier. Anywho, without further ado, we're gonna transfer over to here and I'm probably gonna do subtitles, maybe not a lot of talking. If no one is around, then I'm gonna talk. And then if people walk in, then I'm just gonna mute that shit. But I'm just gonna like cut it up as I get to the finished product. So enjoy. See you in the next clip.
All right, guys, welcome to the cooking show. We're gonna get this bitch started. So I line that shit up. Ugh, I hate all this. Wait, this should be up here. Classic Portuguese wooden spoon. All right, now we're just gonna. So I'm gonna be a cheapskate. Just do some like fucking taco flavoring. It's gonna be good. This thing is uh, 130 calories a tablespoon. Isn't that crazy? So I'm probably gonna put two. I don't wanna like overkill it. I've been doing three and I feel like it gives me headaches. I don't know, maybe that was just the day though. We're gonna do salt and pepper, just, you know, typical. And then, I don't know, my mom has like random ass shit around here. So I kind of just start spreading like everything. So now I'll probably just add some of this. This kind of tastes good this and i really eyeball it i should probably get exact measurements so i don't like overkill it with sodium and things like that but my goal right now is just to cook the damn thing because i never fucking cook it also here's the time i guess we could freaking so i have some leftover rice when we got some indian food and this was untouched so that's just gonna go in there I'll probably i don't want to heat it up in the plastic so actually let's all right, this shit is 10 ounces of rice, 10.7 ounces. But we're gonna heat this up in the microwave. Yeah, that's a lot of rice. I don't know if I'm gonna eat this, but we must attempt. All right, all right, all right. Oh my God. All right, that, that thing is bleeding. That thing is bleeding. I gotta thank people who provide ground beef services. Hopefully they ethically took care of the thing it says they were grass-fed and all that good stuff thank you cow for your sacrifice i really do appreciate it thank you for giving me your protein and all that so let's start let's start adding some spices and shit so i'm just gonna i to get it all together let's uh just oh there we go come on come on all right that's probably horrible okay need that fucking flavor, bro. Add some salt. Pepper that bitch up. So I basically, I probably overkill it, but that's what it gives me, oh my days, that's a lot. I don't know if this is what you're supposed to do, but I, I want this shit to taste like something. I'm probably gonna get judged so fucking hard for my cooking. But ladies and gentlemen, as long as that shit gets done, that's it. Right, let's turn that bitch down. All right, so while this shit is starting to get nice and cooked, can't go wrong with some. Okay, I feel like this just covers everything, you know? Just cover it. Oh, that's a lot. That's a fucking lot. But it's a pound. Like I feel like you gotta get that. And ground meat, you just cook it in its own fat. You just keep stirring. I think I've mixed that well enough, and uh, let's just let that cook itself. And this fucking gob of, this is honestly ridiculous. I don't even think I'm gonna eat that shit, but let's put that shit in the microwave. Probably not even enough, but okay. And then yeah, we're just, this is here just for kind of like nutrients, I imagine, you know? Just, so three cups, just what I gotta put. I'm just gonna like, Three fucking major handfuls. And it's gonna be all in that big bowl. Almost a 10 minute cook sesh. Not bad, not bad. Yet. It gives you a little bit of insight. And then we're gonna take this pour and we're gonna drizzle it. Got some good flavors. I feel like it just needs a little. My intuition tells me it is this, but I don't really know what I want to add to the flavor. But I, I just, was, I was like, can I get it like a little kick? A little kick in the taste buds? I don't know if this is just like way too much spice. Mmm, mmm, yes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have cracked that code. Let that thing cook itself, let's put it on low. Let's see if, uh... all right. Not bad. 
Okay, now people are going to enter, so the video is now silencio. Cisco. My ground beef. And now I would add as subtitles the final touch. I'm just going to add two. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Wednesday, the 24th of May. It's currently 3.36. I am on my way back home and I just got done with the lifting session. I wanted to just talk about it on my way back briefly. So today was a back and bicep day. And actually something really funny guys, I'm gonna have to recap exactly what the workouts were. Probably when I sit down and when I sit down and I have all the stuff to show you guys. I just realized on Monday, the reason why it took so long is because I incorrectly did some sets because I just realized he, he would put two workouts in like a place of one set. And I was like, dude, this just makes my workouts even longer, but they were called supersets. And my dumbass just didn't even like Google it or nothing. And a superset is <laughs> no rest in between. And for example, like today I had to do hammer curls and then no rest, you immediately go into shrugging. So those are two completely different muscles that don't even activate one another it was one of those things i'm like bruh i'm such a fucking dumbass and that's why like monday took so much longer so now that i look think back to it if i properly did those supersets i think these workouts can be 45 to an hour every time obviously i'm a bit slow just like getting used to everything and i'm testing out all these different machines and weights because this is basically like a newbie coming back to lifting basically because it's been like honestly years at this point and i'm like really grateful for the program that i found really really grateful i love the simplicity of it it teaches you how to like figure out things as you go on and how to experiment because he doesn't tell you exactly it's really like a self-exploration kind of thing very interesting all right i do want to keep this short i did want to just make note of the super set thing i learned today because that shit was fucking hilarious my dumb ass realizing that and a similar thing actually happened while i was editing editing my videos yesterday as you play more with the the softwares you, you are using you're gonna find little shortcuts and things that make your, your workflow way more efficient. And that's why someone would select you as a graphic designer or a video editor over others. You selecting each tool, you memorize all the keyboard shortcuts and you've set up your keyboard and mouse to a very specific setup that allows your editing workflow to just be like 10X what a normal person could do. And what I figured out was I have a Logitech MX Master, which I'll have to show, and it has buttons on the side. So instead of me using the the rate tool where I select a piece with my touchpad on the mouse on the Mac, and then I would have to select the thing and then I would have to reach all the way to the top right of the keyboard to press delete. And now that might not seem like much, but those are basically just milliseconds that add up in like drag time. Because every action, takes time to perform if i can just start shaving down even those milliseconds of how quickly i can delete the silence in between clips my efficiency of editing is just going to skyrocket and i just felt it was one of those i'm just bringing in another example of how i felt like an idiot when something was like right in your face that was going to make things more efficient more easier and then it just didn't take until week 16 of editing all these videos that i could have been editing them way faster that's basically what the the thing is as you go throughout life you keep making your mistakes as i've been doing eventually you stumble across the like most efficient path and it just finally hits you in the head you're like wow this took me one year to figure out but then now that you have that knowledge you can package that up and share that with the people you love and the people on the internet and they weren't even thinking about that problem but they they will have that problem in the future but i already gave them the answer to their non-existent problem yet so it's cool shit to think of like that all right anyway i'm gonna keep walking and i'll see you guys in the next clip hello ladies and gentlemen welcome to wednesday the 24th and i don't know if i'm gonna put it before or after but i already recorded a clip of me walking here kind of forgot what i said but hopefully whatever i say now is gonna build on top of that i wanted to just sit down and say what i did today Today we went to the gym. Today was a lifting day. Just for your guys' information, FYI. Right now I'm doing Monday, Wednesday, Friday is this uh, faster lift. 
program I'm following and he only requires you to do it three times a week. And then in between, he expects you to do a core day. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna down, well, I still need to figure that out actually. Downgrade potentially my boxing membership because I, I have like the ultimate subscription and I'm not even using it every day. So it's just a waste of money at this point. So anyway, yeah, so now it's Monday, Wednesday, Friday, lift, Tuesday, Thursday, boxing and core, which is already in the boxing class I take at the end of it. So I kill two birds with one stone in that sense. And then Saturday, Sunday are just gonna be recovery days. I guess I could just walk on those days and just do whatever I want. Okay, I'm not gonna do a screen recording because that shit was kind of annoying to edit. So I'll probably just later on take screenshots or actually I'll just show it on the screen here. 12,000 steps today. So again, with this new gym, I walk there and back. And that's basically four to 5,000 steps there and back. As long as I, on those days, I'm literally gonna get a, a confirmed 10,000 steps. And this is gonna be juicy. See how it's, cause look, look, this was last week, last week. And then now we're, we're, we're picking it up guys. All right, we were chilling, chilling like villains, but but now we're, we're getting back into it. But funny thing is I'm actually going to Florida for the next two weeks. So this is going to be a very interesting, I just got my gym membership and then now I'm fucking going on another vacation. And guys, I'm excited. And that's, I don't even know how I'm gonna film and do all that. Cause I don't even wanna bring my computer. I'm kind of scared to do that shit. I'm, I might just bring an iPad. But anywho, 12,000 steps, good shit, Cisco. And then in terms of my fitness pal, we're, we didn't hit all of our calories today. We still actually need to eat. Um, we need to have our big like ground beef. But I did have my eggs, the MCT oil, put some cheese in that bitch. I still need 1400 calories and I potentially might just eat my mom's dinner. Chicken Alfredo pasta, which is going to be huge in calories. So I'm just going to have to try my best to, because in my fit, my fitness pal, I can't really do my mom's cooking on here. So it's going to be kind of whatever. But as long as I eat like a plate or two, it should be good. And drizzle that MCT oil in that motherfucker. That should definitely get me covered. What else? What else? Yeah, I do want to keep this relatively short. All the other videos have been super long. Yeah, so I still have to eat, but I just wanted to get this recording out of the way because it was kind of bugging me in the back of the back of my mind. And um, yeah. All right. So I will see you in the next clip. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Friday. It is the 26th of May. It's 1.40, and I just finished walking back home. So I walked to the gym today, about 5,000 steps. Honestly, I don't know if I should be referring to steps or just say the miles from now on. I'm probably going to start switching to the miles. But for now, I don't recall how many... It's, it's like roughly two miles or something per 5,000 steps or like one mile. Some bullshit. Anywho, so 5,000 steps to the gym... And then we had a chest and tricep day and we did the Friday portion of the faster method program. And I was so glad for today cause there was only four workouts. They did take some time to do, but I was glad it was just much shorter. A lot of the upper torso work is much shorter than the Monday work. Like I feel like the stuff for the legs is just so much. But also I was an idiot earlier this week and I didn't understand what a superset was because supersetting is no rest in between and you do two different workouts that target different muscles. So it's not, you're not exhausted ideally basically, but I kind of was. <sighs> Again, this is my first time literally hitting the gym in a long, long time. So, so yeah, it was basically bench press doing reverse pyramid training and I was able to hit for, uh, 135 which is 45 plates on both sides. And I did that for a set of six. And I was kind of scared to do it because in the thing he was like, you should definitely have a spotter for your heaviest set. And I was like, okay, I'm not really gonna ask any strangers right now. And I wanna like not ego lift. And I don't really know how much I can lift. So I'm gonna do with kind of what I do know. Cause I remember a couple of years ago, I ended up hitting a plate and I was like, okay, this is like my new baseline forever. And I've been able to consistently, like every time I go back to weight train, I can always hit a plate on a bench. So that's good. That's my default for right now, but we need to start surpassing it as the weeks go on. And that's the plan with each week. We're supposed to just do heavier weight, like no matter what, I'm ideally going to just increase everything by like five pounds or like two and a half pounds. We'll see. We'll see the type of workout. So then after the bench press, it was incline dumbbell press, still working on the chesticles with both of those bench press and the incline dumbbell press those indirectly hit the triceps. So then right after that, it was tricep cable ropes and you basically just do, you know, the tricep 
push down, you wanna make sure nothing is moving, your elbow perfectly stays still, all tricep action. And then it was close grip push-ups till it was AMRAP, so as many as reps as possible for three sets. And I thought I was gonna be busting out like 25, 20, and it was just, the first set was like 15, and I was on like, I took a mini break and then I went back because I was like, I should be able to do this. I feel wrong for my muscles giving up on me. And then the second round was only eight reps. <laughs> as I'm getting up, I'm like literally trying to push and my triceps are like, no, no. And I'm like, oh, and it just, and I collapsed. And then same thing, I think I got like seven reps for the third one and I was like, fuck. But I wanted to feel more of a burn, but it's just, I like max capacity my fucking arms, you know? Anyways, and then that was the workout for the day. I was like, oh, God bless. And I was low key gonna avoid that shit today because my back and my biceps are still sore from Wednesday's workout. And I was like, I hope this doesn't conflict with today's thing, but it didn't. And I'm glad I pushed through my bitch ass voice in my head because I almost was gonna be like, let's just do it Saturday. Let's, let's have an extra day of recovery. So now I did this shit today. So now Saturday and Sunday, I can chill. And this Sunday, I'm actually going to Florida. Florida, Florida. So I'm going to Florida, excited. Gonna hit the Disney's and we're just gonna traverse the lands and it's gonna be cool and I'm excited. We're gonna be going for two weeks. So this is definitely the decompression we needed. Definitely going with the little squad. We need to recover from our traumatic experiences last month. And we've been like planning this fucking oasis away and we can like decompress, like truly chill, relax and like sunbathe. And just like, we are truly separate from everything. And we can like talk with one another and like really spill the beans, you know? It's gonna be a good healthy trip a good trip to start thinking and i'm gonna use it as a thinking trip to plan my fucking life ahead you know there's one year to think about five years 10 years 15 20 years like in 10 years i'm gonna be 32 years old and where the fuck should i be with my life where should i be in one where should i be in five you know you can't necessarily predict but i want to at least have rough directions that i'm like okay I believe in myself to, or I'm gonna set high expectations that I hope I can reach. Obviously reasonable and realistic that it's not abnormal and shit like that. And I'm also probably gonna fucking cancel boxing, by the way. Right now that shit's basically like 140, 150 a month and I've barely been going. And for eight classes a month, they only take away $10. And I'm like, y'all are scheming the fuck out of us right now. I mean, it's good. Like from all the other gyms for boxing and combat sports, it is a costly endeavor. It is a costly hobby in the sense of, you know, you need between a hundred to probably 300, $400, especially for like high quality fighting instructors, I imagine. It's, it's like that per month. So you need to be making some guapinho so you can afford that. And I have a, I have a, a nice little cash stack that I was pulling from because I'm investing in my health, but I've been really happy I, I did take boxing and it's something I want to pursue. But right now, just in the schedule, just boxing is just not hitting. Like it's just with the bank account, just the amount I'm using it is just less. And I'm prioritizing building muscle right now. And that's going to be through the gym. My gym does have a boxing uh, or a punching bag. So maybe I can still kind of keep up in that sense on the off days. It's way better with an instructor, obviously. So we'll see, we'll see if I like stay. I may, I may pay for this subscription coming up, just let it happen and then maybe in June, I'll you know finish it off and then maybe cancel in June, something like that. Cause my payment date is actually coming up. So I either better cancel sooner or just fucking take the L, you know? But my boy Daniel's been joining me and we've been like learning boxing, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, fuck. And I've been so, once you go to a place so much, you're like, this loyalty just like starts burnt like, you want to just stay and you kind of feel bad for leaving. I'm like, this is marketing and branding. You learn this in school. You see the powers of it all. Anyway, but the gym, like I'm, I'm liking the new gym, getting used to where everything is and investing in that high, like that gym has been good, better than Planet Fitness in my opinion. And all right, I'm not gonna drag this out any longer. Today was a good day. And for the rest of it, I mean, I have a couple of days till I'm on a vacation. So I kind of just, well, I do have food to prepare. I, I bought a pound of ground beef on the way here. Oh, actually important. Yesterday, I didn't even get to eat good. Dude, I had some like $5 ground beef, right? And it was a pound and a quarter, right? And I, I cooked it and I was really excited to just get all these calories. And, you know, I made a thing of rice and I was eating like almost five ounces of fucking um, 
Yeah, five. No, no, it was four ounces of serving. So I had five servings of that. I mean, I didn't even eat it. So th this is the story. And so I eat, I eat probably like only a quarter of this entire bowl of fucking, bleh, ew, just thinking about it was just, it was so much meat and rice. It was just like, ugh. and I'm eating, I'm like, I feel so full, but I feel like nasty. I'm like, what the fuck? And then later that day I go see a friend and then <laughs> basically I had to like rush back to my house and fucking vomit because that shit was so fucking disgusting and it was set like the way it settled in my stomach it was just no and it it's not that i got food poisoning or nothing but it <laughs> like i'm in such a mode right now where i hate food after yesterday it just disturbed the homeostasis that is going on and i've had a good streak like up until yesterday of just like feeling good i've been cooking eggs for my first meal eating that and then i've been eating like a pound consistently per day and guys i've gained like five pounds like i was 135 when i've been stuck at 130 and that's just like kind of within the week and me just now eating like over baseline maintenance calories like i feel like now i'm kind of filling into what my real baseline should be and then i'm gonna start gaining weight you get what i'm saying because i've been under eating and i was like 130 and dipping to like 129 128 127 at worst you know like that's not good i think 135 to 140 might be like my real baseline if i eat food fucking right 2200 calories and above per day if i can maintain that then i'd probably be at that but i i under eat and i'm just a fucking skeleton anyway that's why we're changing shit so i bought some ground beef today and we're gonna cook that later i'm not really hungry now because i ate eggs before going to the gym and i'm back so i'm still kind of full from it and uh, yeah i don't know what other updates will come this might be the last update because i'm not going to work out the rest so probably after i start editing everything if there's more i want to say and talk about that shit will happen if not this will be the conclusion thank you guys for watching i appreciate you this is either goodbye or i'll see you in the next clip peace you know what I absolutely love, ladies and gentlemen, when I just recorded eight fucking minutes and that video corrupted. So we need to start that shit all over again. So welcome. It's Saturday. I'm editing all this bullshit and I need to conclude it so I can upload it for Monday because tomorrow I am heading down to Florida. I have a nice vacay for the next two weeks. Anyway, I digress. I wanted to recap the walking of this week just to get an overall picture. And I did have a little like life lesson I was throwing at the end of it, which hopefully it'll come to me in the flow state and the divine plugs it back into my brain and I can say it, but let's discuss the walking distance of this week. So again, this Sunday, please ignore this is last Sunday because that Sunday doesn't exist. That's tomorrow. Monday, we walked 4.6 miles. So that was two and back from the gym. Tuesday, we only had boxing. So that was a 2.3 miles. Still good. That's 5,000 steps. It's the bare minimum we want to hit. Wednesday, we hit 5.4 miles. Good shit. Good shit. We were walking a lot that day. And again, that's two and back from the gym. Cause again, I'm working, I'm working out Monday, Wednesday, Friday for lifting. And then in between is supposed to be core days. Thursday, no boxing or anything, but we did take the time to walk three miles. Then Friday, 4.2 miles. And that was two and back from the gym. And just quickly, I want to show like the steps of those miles. So again, here's Monday, 12.2 K steps. Tuesday was 6.3 K steps. Wednesday was 12.8 thousand steps. Thursday was 8,000. And then Friday was 10.2. So those are the numbers of the week. And I'm glad we've been keeping up with the walking. That's something I've seriously neglected. And I really recommend for you guys to take walks, even if it's five, 10 minutes, you know, whether it's you work, wake up first thing in the morning, you gotta get sunshine in your eyes and in your face, like take a walk then midday or do your night walks. Maybe you're a midnight walker. Just please, you know, you have a vessel and we are primate monkeys basically that we need to be moving our body. Cause if you don't use it, you lose it. Your body will atrophy over time. And it, that's just something I believe having rheumatoid arthritis personally, you know, if you're someone with that chronic illness, in my opinion, if you're going to allow the disease, I mean, there's a battle between like, you know, that disease actually crippling you. And then there's like using the excuse of it while you are okay. But still people are like oh because i have arthritis i'm not going to do anything healthy and it's like bitch if you, even if you have to if you have to stumble walk it's the easiest workout to do start that if you're trying to start your exercise journey you don't have to lift nothing nothing it's the easiest thing to do right so walk and i recommend either when you walk have an audiobook or a podcast to be educating and then if not i highly recommend no music and just silence aka listen to the fucking world in front of you and i notice as i've been walking i've like I want to use that time as thinking time, which I do, but I've now realized 
my brain is fucking empty when I walk. And my theory is I'm basically kind of like an iPad baby where I have constant stimulation of like all this media, all these books, all these like da da da, that I, my theory is a lot of the younger generations now, if, if they've grown up with an iPad in their hands since the moment they could think and listen and see, we're actually preparing them for failure because we have never helped them build the muscle of the internal dialogue voice in their brain. And that's going to be your critical thinking, you know, chatterbox. If reality is constant stimulus and it's external voices speaking towards us going into our brain and we internalize that, it's like you're never flexing the, the brain muscle of your talking. So something I recommend to you guys is you go out into the land and just silent, just, just let, just hear the world, just see the world. The best ideas you're gonna have, the greatest insights, revelations are gonna come from walks. They're gonna come from allowing the brain to decompress. Essentially when you walk, it's the same mechanism when you enter a, a like a, a flow state of intuition when you're taking a shower. That's why you get such great ideas in the shower because you're just doing something automatic and your brain is in like such a calm, relaxed state that it's making all these new connections just all the time and then that's where you just get your shower idea so you can basically get more of those through walking and there's actually some sauce and i didn't even say this in the last video and so i do want to conclude with the advice that my dad gave me a while ago and i forgot how i was interjecting it but here it is there's basically like two kinds of people you can start associating with going forward in your life and you know that saying of show me the five people you hang out with and i'll tell you your future and it's just you are the collection of the five people you spend the most time with unconsciously you're going to pick up so many of their habits the way they say things the inside jokes the mannerisms the the outlooks on life whether it's positive or negative it's like you unconsciously because you're, you're not sitting there like let me let me take all these traits and qualities. It's like, no, constant exposure to them makes it normal to you. And it's, and it's, we're, we're imitators. We're, we're parrots kind of as humans, like, cause we want to fit in. We're going to do things similar, but this can be very dangerous, especially if you're a drifter. And that's why I recommend outwitting the devil to become a non drifter. And it's essentially learning to be a thinker of your own, of yourself. You are, you are a conscious human being. You are not led by the crowd. You are not led by others. You have a chatterbox in your own brain and it guides your every decision. And that's hard for a lot of people. And it's been hard for me. And I'm now 22 years old, making this fucking transition to being a non drifter. My past 22 years have been a complete drifter fucking whatever. Now going forward, the high quality relationships in my life truly, truly matter. And I do not give a fuck about mundane. Yeah, I can have 30, 50 surface level friends and all they want to do is go out and drink every night and they just want to go hook up and they just want to like, just do it all over again. They just, it's like, what do these people do? What do they, what the fuck do they talk about? It's, they're fucking bots. I swear to God. Anyway, this is just my opinion. Maybe you're an extrovert. You love that shit, but those motherfuckers are turkeys. Okay, so who do you want to hang out with? There's there's two groups. There's going to be eagles and there's going to be turkeys. Eagles, I would like to imagine. I mean, this is why it's the United States fucking symbol animal, right? It's our national symbol because it is probably in the hierarchy of birds. It's probably one of the most powerful birds. You know, it's fucking claws, how fast it flies and dives in and finds its prey and eats it, kills it, things like that. So the eagle is the most powerful thing and it has no limitations as to where it can and can be. It can fly up up into the fucking heavens or it can fly down to the ground. It has a choice, so, but I look at this as 1% individuals who can, if they set their mind to how high they wanna go, an eagle can go and fly up to it. Nothing is stopping this fucking eagle. So you wanna, you wanna start hanging out with these individuals that, you know, even if it's irrational, they, they, they should be ambitious. They should be just grasping for something larger than themselves. And those are the friends you want because you guys can now push each other in this like, just, we want to be better. We want to be bigger with everything we do. Because small thinking is going to keep you constrained into this, this box. So hang out with eagles and forego the turkeys. Do not hang out with turkeys. Turkeys are fucking all fat. They can't even fly and they're a bird and they just squabble all around and blah, 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 talking shit. Eagles don't have fucking time for that. They're flying and they're catching their prey. They're scanning the area. They're flying as high as they want. They fly as low as they want. They do everything. And so hopefully, and this is my father's lesson he taught me. So this is kind of what's stuck with me. And it's a, it's a cool, you know, using animals as symbolism is very helpful in my opinion. So going forward guys, please, please, please start, do, do an audit of everyone around you, your family, your friends, romantic interests, everybody. 
everybody around you. Just, is this person fucking good in my life? Are they, are they helping me? Are they draining me? Are they an energy vampire actually? And I have like this weird guilt mechanism keeping them in my life. What is it? Do an audit. Fucking give them a stink eye. Get, stare at them for a second. You're like, are you doing me, are you doing me dirty? Are you helping me in my life? Am I helping you in your life? Is this, is this a positive relationship? Is, are things, you know, just, just examine the people in your life, bro. Because again, the five people you hang out with, it, it, it fucking matters because it's going to lead to your success. Whatever your social circle is, it's, anyway, hopefully this all makes sense. Long-winded as usual. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in week 17. Make sure to like, comment, helps all with the algorithms. And of course, subscribe if you want to keep watching. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next week.